everybody, this is Dominique from Rock Lab Television. We are here on the beach in Biloxi, Mississippi, enjoying CPR Fest XX. That's CPR Fest number 20. They've been doing it for a long time, bringing you the best rock and roll that you can find. We got the homegrown stage over to my left. We got the main stage behind us. Excellent lineups on both of them. We're going to try to chat with them all today and bring it all to you. I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and you should be out here with us partying right now. We are Rock Lab Television, bringing you music television the way it should be. We're still here at CPR Fest number 20 and we're hanging out with Envision right now. Envision just got off the stage and the crowd was lit. Oh my goodness. Was this the biggest crowd you ever played in front of? Yes. Yes, by far. Yes, yes, by far, yes. So, with that being said, how did it feel seeing that many people digging your music, jumping up and down, putting their hands in the air? Man, I, I, can't, I can't tell you if I should like laugh or like yell or cry or scream, like that was just, that was insane. Too many emotions going on at one time. Just too many emotions. I could see it on your faces. The, the show was insane. Y'all always put on a great show. Very dynamic band. Very entertaining. Very energetic. They always put on such a good show. show but today, today was top notch. Y'all brought a game that you may never had, may, may never realize you had before, but you found it today. And y'all need to hang on to that when you play. So please, who are you and what do you do for the band? Uh, I'm Alex. I'm the vocalist for Envision. Well, I guess lead vocalist because uh, Chase does vocals as well. All right. And I'm Nate. I'm the drummer, and I do some backing, singing, screaming, little things. And it sounded amazing. Y'all did a great job today. Y'all were on point. The sound was phenomenal. And it looked like y'all made a few new fans today. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> so when y'all got off the stage, we had every intention of grabbing y'all to do the interview. And we couldn't because they were surrounded by new fans. And how many people do you think you met today? At, cra at least a hundred. At least a hundred. They were lined up. There was a line, I mean, past the liquor booth. I'm telling you, it was huge. It was great. So you guys were absolutely awesome. It's about time we actually get to talk to you. I've been looking forward to this. I can't wait to see y'all play some more. Thank y'all so much for being here. Is there anything going on for Envision in the, in the not-so-distant future? Yeah, uh, we're actually getting ready to release our new EP this summer. Yes! Um, we performed three of the songs off that EP that are unreleased today. Yes! Um, and we have a show coming up with a band that we can't say who it is yet. But Ooh, um, that's a good one. in June, we'll be playing another show here in, in Biloxi. And um, next month, we'll be shooting a new music video for one of the songs we did today. That sounds amazing. You guys are moving and shaking. That's what you need to do. Um, I hope I wish the best for you guys, which I don't really have to because you're good enough. You're going to find it. Y'all going to find your niche and people are going to come to you. Y'all going to be great. So thank you all for being here with us, taking your time with us. I'm Dominique from Rock Lab Television. We bring you music television the way it's supposed to be. Everybody, we're hanging out backstage, back behind the homegrown stage right there. We're here with Awaken the Giant. They put on an amazing show. The crowd was on fire. These guys were on fire. And it's hilarious when you see a band, you know, you know they're amazing, and they come out and they get a band, they get a crowd that's so charged up, the band picks it up too. And they go absolutely ape shit crazy. All right? <laughs> They go crazy, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys, if you don't mind, tell us a little bit about well, your experience on stage today. What did it feel like having that many people going absolutely crazy? Who wants this one? I think it felt fucking amazing. Fucking amazing, that's what it felt like. 
Felt incredible. We really enjoyed ourselves. Thank you to everyone that enjoyed us. No, it was good. It was amazing. The rush and the adrenaline that you get from that many people going and then circle pitting to your music, that's amazing. I could say what? Say it, it made us feel alive. It made us feel alive. Unbreakable. <laughs> so you felt alive. That's great, guys. So seeing this many people out here, and uh, do y'all normally do a lot of festivals? Um, this is my first one with this band, actually. Okay, how long have y'all been together? The band formed in 2017. Uh, Mike and Dustin came on about. Around the beginning of the year, we brought them on to complete the lineup and everything like that. So we've done a couple of festivals before them, but it's definitely good to be back on this one. All right, y'all got any big plans for the future? Anything coming up real soon? Uh, what you got? I heard there there may be some uh, touring coming up in the next few months. Dude, we've got a uh, some new music coming out later this year, and uh, we're going to be announcing some summer tour dates soon. Well, guys, y'all put on an amazing show, CPR Fest number 20. They've been doing this for 20 years. Holy, wow. So um, it, this is my first experience here. It was so good to see you guys. Thank y'all for taking your time with me. I'm Dominique from Rock Lab Television. We're bringing you music, the, music television the way it should be. everybody, Dominique here. We're still hanging out at the Homegrown stage at the CPR Fest 20. Have y'all played here before? Nope. No. no not even not. you? No, I, I played a um, tattoo festival several years back in the convention center. That's about as close. But never CPR Fest? No, never CPR Fest. Oh, that's cool. So how was it? How was the crowd? Crowd was amazing. Absolutely. Crowd was fucking amazing. <laughs> no, it was cool. Uh, I think I think a lot of the kids. There's a lot of lighter rock bands, which is cool. But we're on the on the heavier side, and I think they wanted to spin it up a little bit. And for those of you that don't know, this is half of Transient. Transient. This is the first time I've experienced you live. Absolutely amazing. And it wasn't because of what I saw on stage. Mostly, it was because of the crowd reaction. The crowd response was phenomenal. If you like the heavier stuff, you want to get in the pit, Transient is your band. So, y'all like doing this, the whole uh, fair circuit? Or Wait, y'all a new band. We're, we're fairly new. We're fairly new. We're only about two years old. We've all been playing for years in different respective bands, but uh, we've been, uh, we started, we put the band together, I think, right at the tail end of 2019, early 2020, um, and we just started writing, 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 right as everything was shutting down. So we're, we're right at, like, I think, 24 month old. Yeah, yeah we're right two at years two, old. Years old. two years old. I say two years old. Yeah, two years old. And y'all are killing it. Y'all got an awesome following. People are people are very loyal to y'all too. Because people people that lock on to music like this, it, they they stick with it because it's good. We're not getting a whole lot of good music as a whole, but the Gulf Coast right now is tearing it up with the best music coming out. Yes. And you see it all over the country, but the Gulf Coast is the best. So anything planned uh, for the not so distant future with Transient? Uh, we are shooting two new music videos back to back. We're gonna be dropping a three song EP uh, this summer. Uh, we're going to be finishing up writing three new songs, and we're going to record those. We're going to probably shoot two more videos for those. If we got time, we'll maybe drop the, th the third video this year, but we're dropping at least two new videos this year, uh, three songs total, and then we're just going to come out the gate swinging on, on 2023. Um, as far as what happens this year, everything's kind of focused more on the, the music side, getting everything ready for next year. All right, so I didn't get to it yet. Who are you and what do you do for the band? <laughs> My name is Emmett and I play guitar. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm Phil Cron and I play the, the d rums. Do y'all all participate in the writing, the writing process? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Phil and I, um, we probably, I think we probably clicked more than anything on this last three songs. Uh, ever, I mean, of course, it was, it was a group effort and it really was probably the most like evenly group effort 
uh, as far as a band that I've been in, nice. you know. Um, yeah, we, we pretty much base everything off of like one main riff. Yeah. Uh, so if we get the one main riff, we just mouth stuff to each other and map it out and see where it goes. And usually it turns out pretty good. Yeah. There you go, some trade secrets from Transient. Thank you guys for taking some time to spend with us. I am Dominique from Rock Lab Television. Hey, we're still at CPR Fest. We're going to get some more music for you. We're bringing you music television the way it should be. All right, we're here at CPR Fest number 20, XX, right? XX number 20. And we're here with the Connector Specialist Incorporated. They are one of the, one of the big sponsors here, are sponsored for the, the homegrown stage. Yeah, absolutely. We just we opened a store here on Seaway Avenue. We're just trying to get out in the little community and introduce ourselves to everybody. We're a Parker Hennepin distributor. We, I mean, in this location, we specialize in making any hydraulic or any hose assembly that you need when you come off the street. So if you got a tractor that breaks down, truck that breaks down, a boat, power tilt and trim systems, anything like that, come and see us. I mean, I'm hoping that you when you leave our facility, you leave with what you need. Well, um, Trevor, he run, Trevor runs our local office here. All right, Trevor. All right. Um, so y'all do a lot of hydraulic stuff. Y'all do uh, like industrial type things. Do y'all do like huge things like on uh, oil refineries and uh, chemical plants and stuff like that? Yeah, we do. We, we come in and we can do any installation and we make all the lines for it. And we, uh, we have a field services team that comes out and they do the jobs anywhere we need to go. And we'll, we make sure we get the job done. Well, that sounds great. And you know what? It's so good to see y'all here supporting guys like that. <laughs> Kevin Harris from uh, Sound, Sound 228 and CPR just walked by. So um, what got you into supporting like uh, sponsoring events like this? Well, so Lizzie who's over there uh, filming us. Or she's in our marketing department. She raced out. We were talking to uh, the radio station and they were like, yeah, we got CPR Fest coming up. We're back at it. We're doing it again. Do you guys want to sponsor? We have an open spot for the homegrown stage. We're like, absolutely. So every other market that we're in, we're in the local community, putting our name out there, talking to people. So we jumped all over. We got billboards going up here in Gulfport, or over in Gulfport. So we, we always jump on the opportunity to get involved with the community. So it's a brand new store for us, just opened up in February, so. So you said you're based out of Mandeville, Louisiana. Where do you have other stores? We have stores in Houston, Texas, Lafayette, Louisiana, Homa, Louisiana, um, up in Pearl, Mississippi, Memphis, Tennessee, Mobile, Alabama. We're all over, we're all over the place, mainly along the Gulf Coast. And you said you just opened a location. Well, we just opened our location in Gulfport, which is on the west end of Seaway Boulevard in Gulfport. So being here today is certainly going to help your business, I hope, anyway, because th this is absolutely awesome. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for supporting local music, because that's why we're here. And we love our local fans, our local supporters, our local musicians, and we need to support as much local as we can. Keep it at home. Keep it local. Thank you all so much for your time. It was a great, it was a pleasure talking to you. I'm Dominique from Rock Lab Television. We bring you music television the way it should be. Hey, we're at uh, CPR Fest number 20 still. I'm here with uh, Magnolia Bayou. They just took out off the stage a little while ago. They had a great show. I was thoroughly impressed. Phenomenal, excellent musicians, great vocals. Everything was on fire. How was your night? Man, it was amazing. It's a night I'll never forget, dude. The crowd was amazing. Everything was feeling good, sounding good. Simply amazing. Simply amazing. How about you? Did you have a good time? I felt like I was floating, man. There's nothing like singing with the crowd, man. And uh, I think the crowd definitely showed up and showed out, man. So thank you guys so much for uh, making that a hell of an experience. That's real cool. How about you? Uh, was this like one of the biggest crowds you've ever played for? or? Definitely one of the closest to the biggest crowd. Yeah, yeah, it was great. And they were, all, they were completely, the crowd was completely into it. Oh, yeah. Seeing the crowd get into it, does that, that help you perform? Oh, yeah, that was, that was, it was awesome. It was the best time. 
<laughs> All right, you saw that. That was almost smooth. So, uh, what about you? Did you have a good time? Uh, I had a great time. I know Rooster's not necessarily our song, but like hearing everybody uh, hooping and hollering and singing along to all the words was uh, gave uh, gave probably all of us goosebumps. So. Uh, Thank y'all. Appreciate it. My, my wife actually yelled at me for not recording that because she loves Alice in Chains. So yeah. I'm just saying. All right. So if you don't mind, I'm going to pass the mic. I'll go grab it on the other end. I'll sneak around. Just tell us who you are and uh, what do you do for the band? Yeah. Dylan Palmero. I am the lead guitar player for Magnolia Bayou. Josh Estes. I am the bassist for Magnolia Bayou. My name is Drew Fulton, and I am the lead singer slash rhythm guitar player. My name is Cedric Fiesel. I am the train pusher, skin beater, Magnolia Bayou. Yeah. And you're absolutely a beast behind those skins, man. I tell you what, that was nothing short of phenomenal. So you got anything big coming up in the future for uh, Magnolia Bayou? Uh, we are actually about to embark on a spring tour uh, very, very soon. Uh, so you guys look out for that on our website, Facebook, Instagram. What you got? Uh, shout out to everybody in Biloxi, Mississippi. We're gonna or Ocean Springs, excuse me. Uh, we'll be at the Juke Joint on April 30th. So we'll be with a band called The Lonely Ones. Uh, so we're actually hitting Memphis, Tennessee, uh, on April 27th. Nashville on the 28th. Huntsville on the 29th. Uh, down here in the hometown uh, on the 30th, and then Natchez, Mississippi on the first. So get your tickets. Come have a fucking awesome time with us. Let's get it. Yeah. I also just wanted to say we're going to be opening up for Jimmy Hall of Wet Willie on uh, May 7th in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, the hit capital of the world. And we're going to be opening for Driving and Crying in Louisiana. Oh, also, we're going to be opening for Quiet Riot in the fall in Oklahoma. So check us out on Facebook and you'll get those dates. Uh, it's going to be a great, a great fall. So and spring and summer. <laughs> Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure. Great to get to know you guys. And um, I hope we get to see you real soon. I'm going to keep up with those dates, man. I tell you what. And uh, thank you, everybody out there for watching. I am Dominique for Rock Lab Television. We're bringing you music the way it should be. Everybody, CPR Fest is happening right now. We can hear Seether in the background, and I'm hanging out with the lead singer from Riding with Killers. How's it going, man? That's awesome. What's your name, buddy? Taylor. Taylor, nice to meet you. Hey, man, how was the show for you? Well, for me, this show is actually really special. Um, it was a homecoming. I haven't played my hometown in five years, and I've been working on this band up north in Detroit for the last three and a half years. So it was just really nice to pull everything together and make this my, my homecoming, you know? It, that is amazing. Yeah. That is amazing, man. So you're, you're playing around Detroit. Uh, we haven't really been playing so much as working on the record and, and doing all the background stuff. So whenever, like now that we're starting to play out, like we don't have to really do, I mean, we're always doing behind the scenes work, but it's like we can put some things to the side and now we can just go and we've got the content, we've got everything we need. So it's, it's, it's been a long time, but it's been worth it. Well, that's awesome. Should we expect to see anything from you guys in the near future? Oh yeah. What you got coming? A lot of good stuff. A lot of good. Any tours or any big dates? No tours as of yet, but there there are a few radio singles we're working on. There's a music video that's ready to go. There's a second one that we're about to shoot. So we've got some things brewing. So whenever we get back out, it'll it'll be undeniable. That's awesome. I'm excited, man. Uh, the crowd was really digging you guys. The crowd was very much into y'all. What did you think about the crowd? Uh, well, I feel like I knew about 90% of the people in the crowd, so it was like a big old reunion for me, and like just looking up and seeing people from the last 
15, 20 years of my life on the Gulf Coast, just out in the crowd. Like it was special, it was beautiful. And uh, I'm just really humbled and grateful to be where I'm at right now. So I'm just, it hasn't quite sunk in just yet. Like I'm still riding the high from being on stage, but like I, I know later, like I'm gonna have a good cry just because I'm so overwhelmed from the love and the support that we've gotten to get down here and from when we were just on the stage, man. It was beautiful. Like, like, thank you, Biloxi, Gulf Coast 97.9. Thank you. We love you. It, it was wonderful. Thank you. Man, with that, that explanation of everything right there, that makes me want to get this on the air fast. I think everybody needs to hear this because that is absolutely amazing because um, the, the whole crowd appreciated you. We appreciate you. You did a great job. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. Thank you so much. I wish you so much luck in the future. And we're going to be looking out for more stuff, that's for sure. Hey. We're still Rock Lab Television. We're still at CPR Fest. CPR Fest number 20. I mean, come on. We're having a blast. Y'all have a great night. We'll see you soon. Hey, everybody. We're here at CPR Fest. CPR Fest number 20. Y'all been doing this for 20 years? Hey, yeah. and, uh, to be honest with you, I've been here for 16 of them. That's awesome. Little fun fact, I was at the first one, but as a uh, uh, a visitor. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I was like 12, 13. I don't know what year it was, but yeah, I was at the first CPR Fest. Must not have been that long ago if you were 12 or 13. Oh, nice. I appreciate the compliment. Right. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. The bands were amazing. The homegrown, the homegrown stage blew people out of the water. Yes. The response of the crowd from the homegrown stage was amazing. Are you satisfied, excited, thrilled, upset about the turnout. What do you think about today? Uh, I'm going to tell you what, I couldn't be any more excited than what we saw today. I don't think anybody, I mean, even talking to the people from the radio station from CPR, the, the crowd was better and bigger than what they expected. So the turnout was great. And the homegrown stage, and I think being able to get that rock and roll feeling where they there was no chairs in front and they could get up on the stage and, and have a good time, I think that helped set the mood for that whole stage. Absolutely. What do you think about that, Jared? Uh, I couldn't be more happy the fact that we had our logo up on top of the homegrown stage. Kevin and I started this podcast, the, the whole, the sound, everything that we're about, we started it because we knew that the local talent here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast is what it is and today prove that which is the whole concept of why we're doing what we're doing that's beautiful man and it's working really well the sound 228 um cpr 97.9 yeah. great partnership and obviously because it worked out so well today so thank y'all so much kevin jared it's been a pleasure thank y'all for having rock lab tv here and i am doing here oh it's my pleasure and kevin thank you for setting that up oh no it's, it's all good i love it love you guys anything we can do to help we're all a team. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a community. Yeah. All right, we're winding it down. We got three doors down on stage. You know what? I hope y'all had a good time because we sure did. Y'all, I'm Dominique from Rock Lab Television. We're bringing Woo! you music television the way it should be. The way it should be.